basically the data is uh, uh, corrupted i can take new server uh, i can use lakshmi uh, sandhya ma'am server actually mm -hmm. One second, everyone. Uh, two, three, one. Number one, five, four. Yes, fifty four. New fifty four. So I, before going to the configuration, and uh, let's So how to increase this font size, everyone? How to increase this font size? Yes, no, okay. How to increase this font size? Are you able to see my screen? Are you able to hear my voice? Yes, sir. Yes. So how to increase? Go to? Top it was on. Yeah. This one, customizing one. Optional. And here, this is the font actually, okay? Font size, select better, you can take uh, 14 and click on your okay, apply and okay. Open new session. Yeah, now it's okay. So everyone, now my target is, I want to create ledger. In the ledger, 0L is the standard, everyone. 0L is the standard. Now I want to create. Yesterday we explained this now. Yesterday we explained this. Okay. And now today we will do the configuration, leading ledger and extension ledger. Leading ledger is a standard 0L. So let's go and look into that. Then we can create the extension ledger. For example, let's, I can create, I can set up here any two digit. Two digit is J1. Let's take J1 and J2. Everyone, um, due to some, some reason, my data was corrupted. Uh, my, what is our company code? My company code is RM100, right? RM11. So my uh, server data is corrupted. So that is the reason I can use new company code that is called JJ. Uh, one zero, I believe. One second, let's. Sandeep, what is your company code? Uh, sir, it is JJ eleven only. Uh, JJ, JJ eleven. 11 huh? So I can use this company code, everyone, for the configuration. Okay, this company code was corrupted, and uh, that is the reason I can use this company code JJ one zero. So whatever. Okay, same process. And now I, everyone, are you clear? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, no, my dear students, I want to create the ledgers. How to create the ledger? And what is the path? This is the path, everyone. SPRO, financial accounting, financial accounting global setting, ledger, defined setting for ledger currency type. Defined setting for ledger currency type. Let's create that. Let's uh, create that. So go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG, select here financial accounting, financial accounting global setting, ledger, and here ledgers, this one, first one, everyone. Define setting for ledgers and currency type. Everyone, concentrate here. Here in the yesterday, we faced some ABAPR issue, everyone. Concentrate here. So you just double click on this execute button. 
and click on here okay listen listen carefully everyone click on here okay so 0l is the standard everyone 0l is the standard so it is on a leading ledger it is on a leading ledger with the help of 0l we want to create our extension ledgers we want to create our extension ledger what purpose ifrs us gap like that purpose for example if you post any accounting entry that accounting entry value reflected leading ledger and as well as extension ledger so how to create extension ledger how to create extension ledger this is the target everyone listen careful my dear students listen careful select tier 0l select tier 0l listen listen everyone listen select tier 0l click on your copy as click on your copy as set up here any two digit for the identification i am set up here j1 any two digit but don't be on a duplicate so this is the continuation of yesterday class everyone this is the continuation of yesterday class listen careful concentrate here set up here any two digit and here you can write the description example jj underscore ifrs so this is an extension ledger so this is not a leading ledger so remove this tick mark and this is an extension ledger select your extension ledger press enter button in the keyboard everyone after taking extension ledger press enter button in the keyboard yes copy all yes okay why this is coming What JJ posting period, right? Which one, ma'am? What is your posting period variant? Yes, sir. JJ posting period. Somebody created some wrong things, actually. Yes. Everyone, concentrate here. Slash and go back actually. And I'm repeating once again, everyone. Click on your uh, 0L, copy as, and give it here any two digit. And J1, write the description how why system is behave like this. And remove this tick mark. This is extension ledger. And press enter. Better instead of copy all, only copy entry you can take this one everyone okay why because even other students will do mistakes now so this will going to copy all that mistakes so better you can copy only for entry click on here okay and here underlying ledger what is your underlying ledger 0l 0l everyone 0l press enter and save Everyone, concentrate here. Concentrate here, everyone. Anyway, I will repeat once again. Save. Everyone, concentrate here. Listen carefully. And select here 0L. Select here 0L. Double click on company code settings. Select here 0L and double click on company code setting. And uh, select all. Select all, everyone and click on your position what is your company code jj11 so here you can remove this deselect everyone these two company codes and delete all delete why because this j1 j1 is belongs to jj11 and jj12 this this j1 extension extension ledger belongs to this company codes and click on your save. My dear students, I am repeating once again, everyone. Concentrate here. Concentrate here. Listen, listen careful. I am repeating once again. Listen, listen careful. Listen. Now my target is 
how to create extension ledgers how to create extension ledger for this extension ledgers for which company code which company code everyone this extension ledger for company code jj11 company code and jj12 company code so we don't want to assign this extension ledger for other company codes so that is the reason we are deleting other company codes so my dear students listen careful how to create one more extension ledger listen listen careful listen how to create how to create everyone concentrate here you just double click on this execute button double click on this execute button select here 0l select here 0l click on here copy as set up here any two digit example i am set up here j2 and this is for jj underscore ifrs jj underscore us gap now this is now in us gap now in us gap everyone jj underscore us gap and this is not a leading ledger this is an extension ledger so remove this tick mark and here you can take extension ledger if you press enter if you press enter don't click on copy all why because if other company codes have any mistakes even that mistakes also will go into copy so better copy only copy entries you can take this one you can take this one yes and here here you can take underlying ledger 0l here for j2 underlying ledger 0l 0 l press enter then after that what can i do after that what can i do so this j2 j2 created for my company codes not for other company codes so select here j2 and select here j2 everyone here you can select the j2 double click on company code settings click on here okay and you, you can select all the company codes we don't want all these company codes everyone so select all the company codes here here select all the company codes and click on your position you can go to your company codes jj double one and deselect these two company codes everyone deselect these two company codes and delete all delete all means whatever company codes we selected now that company codes will going to delete you can keep only your company codes. Why? Why you want to keep only your company codes? Why? Because this J2 we created for our company codes. Click on here, save. Click on here, save. Everyone, do you got my point, everyone? How to create extension ledger? Yes, no, okay? Yes, yes sir. Yes. Then one more, one more configuration steps, everyone. One more configuration steps. Define accounting principles. Define accounting principles, everyone. So what is our accounting principle as for standard accounts? What is our accounting principles, everyone? Accounting principle, what is that? No one, no one knows golden rules. Uh, IAS, IFRS. Uh, in general accounting terminology. In the general accounting terminology, anybody yeah, knows? Personal account. Personal account. Personal account. Personal account. Real account. The general accounting terminology, accounting uh, principle means personal yeah. account, real, real account, account, and nominal, nominal. account. Yeah. For example, everyone, for example, here, here, in the parallel accounting system, in the parallel accounting system, accounting principle means, this is the accounting principle. What is the accounting principle? IAS, IFRS, US GAAP, this is the accounting principles. So at what level you want to generate the reports? At what level? you want to generate the reports that is your accounting principle that is your accounting principle okay 
clear everyone in the general accounting terminology in the general accounting whatever uh, golden rules whatever personal account real account nominal account that is the accounting principle in the parallel accounting sap parallel accounting accounting principle means what level you are going to generate the reports example ias ifrs us gap so this is your accounting principle this level we want to generate the reports first you can create this accounting principle then later we can do the mapping and later we will post accounting entries later we will generate the reports now we are in creation stage now we are in creation stage so how to create ias reporting ifrs us gap then later how to map later how to post the document entry in specific ledgers and later how to generate the reports our target is if you post any accounting entry the accounting entry value will going to reflect a leading ledger and as well as extension ledger also extension ledger also clear clear so far are you following yes no yes sir Yes. yes, sir. So everyone, so how to create this? How to create this? Define accounting principle. Same path, everyone. I will go through path, everyone. I will go through path. So my dear students, Guys, concentrate everyone, listen careful. So how, what is the path for that? This is the path everyone, listen careful. This is the one, what is the path? I'm repeating once again, what is the path? How to go to the path? SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG, select here, financial accounting, fin financial accounting global setting, Financial accounting global setting. Then here, ledgers. Here, parallel accounting. Here, define accounting principle. And assign accounting principle to ledger group. Accounting assign principle to ledger group. First one, define accounting principle. So in the parallel accounting, what is your accounting principle? means at what level you are going to generate the reports at what level you are going to generate the reports that is called accounting principle example you just double click on this execute button double click on the come to this path double click on this execute button click on your new entry click on your new entry set up here any name and write the description Example, set up here up to four digit and write the description. Example, I am set up here, JJ and uh, I, IP. What is that? JJ, IAS, accounting principle. Means like uh, local gap, local gap reporting. Example, accounting principle. Then one more. Uh, JJ uh, FP JJ IFRS IFRS accounting principle accounting principle then one more one more JJ UP so now we are creating this level we are going to generate the reports okay and here, JJ, US GAAP reporting, US GAAP accounting principle. Accounting principle. Press enter and save. Press enter and save. So example, everyone. So what is this? JJ IP. JJ. So this is not a standard, everyone. Here you can set up up to four digit. Maybe five digits also can accept it, no problem. But 
my suggestion is you can set up up to four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. It may be numerical and uh, it may be alphabets. Example, everyone, concentrate here. Listen careful, everyone. First one, JJIP, IAS, I mean Indian, I mean IAS, local gap. For the local gap, what is the ledger, everyone? What is the ledger? 0L. 0L is the ledger. And uh, JJFP. What is the ledger I created? J1. Extension ledger. Just now we created. Then JJUP. What is the ledger we created, everyone? J2. J2. So this is called ledgers we created. Leading ledger and extension ledger. And this is called accounting principles. Now we want to assign. Now we want to assign our accounting principles to ledgers. Our accounting principle to ledger, everyone. I want to assign next step. First, I created accounting principles. Later, I want to assign these ledgers 0L for IAS, J2 for uh, IFRS, J, I mean J1 for IFRS, J2 for US GAAP. This one I want to assign. So later, we will post the accounting entries. So during the accounting entries, these ledgers will going to reflect it. In the background, this is the values can be reflected for the reporting purpose. Are you clear, everyone? Are you following? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's next step is assign. Click on your save. Click on your save. Next step is everyone. Concentrated, everyone. Assign accounting principle to ledger group, everyone. Assign accounting principle to ledger group. So what is assign accounting? Print? Next step is example, everyone. Assign accounting, same path, same path, everyone. Financial accounting, financial accounting, global setting, ledger, accounting principle. Then assign accounts to accounting principle. So you just double click on this execute button. And click on your new entry. Click on your new entry. Then what is the accounting principle here? JJ IP IAS. And what is the target? 0L. 0L is the ledger. 0L. And one more. JJ. What is that? JJ. Which one? FP, right? FP. Here, J1. IFRS. Here, uh, JJ. What is that, everyone? JJ, US gap. Anyone remember? UP. UP. And uh, J2. Enter. Better, can you please note it down, everyone? Note it down this better. <laughs> Done, everyone. Noted. Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And click on your save. Click on your save. The last step in the configuration, everyone. Last step in the configuration. Last step in the configuration. Assign ledger to accounting principle. 
assign ledger to accounting principal last step in the configuration so why yesterday we explained this thing everyone yesterday we explained this thing if you post any accounting entry the accounting entry will reflected three currencies presently three currencies eight more currencies also will come i will tell you later if i tell now you people going to confuse and one is local currency document currency and group currency if you post any accounting entry and here currently i am configured one leading ledger and two extension ledger two extension ledger non leading ledgers will come later okay you can follow my process okay remaining thing we'll see later here and i am creating leading ledger and extension ledger leading ledger is the standard we are creating extension ledger why we are creating means if you post any accounting entry value should be reflected ias ifrs and us gap so ias 0l is the standard for ifrs us gap purpose we created like uh, extension ledger then we created accounting principal then we are map we did map our accounting principal to ledgers following everyone yes no okay yes no okay yes sir. yes sir and the last step everyone last step in the configuration assign ledger to accounting principal assign ledger to accounting principal everyone and uh, so how we can assign a ledger to accounting principal so very simple everyone go to same path my dear students concentrate here everyone concentrate here we are repeating once again uh, concentrate here my dear students listen listen careful and here i am going again go to spro enter sap reference img select here financial accounting fin financial accounting global setting ledger and ledger this one everyone define accounting principal for currency type everyone concentrate here you just double click on here here you can concentrate here for 0l 0l what is our accounting principal here you can observe you already entered na 0l account this is the accounting principal j1 this is the accounting principal j2 this is the accounting principal so now we need to assign this this ledgers to accounting principal vice versa previously we assigned like accounting principal to ledgers now we want to assign accounting principal to ledger with the company code with the company code we are doing creation and mapping if you map like this what happened if you map like this we will finally our target is we want to generate the reports we want to generate the reports for uh, ias ifrs us gap blah 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 xyz okay so let's do that everyone last step in the configuration last step in the configuration everyone and uh, you just double click on this execute button everyone concentrate here listen careful everyone listen careful concentrate here select tier 0l select tier 0l double click on company code yes everyone concentrate here and what is your company code everyone uh, jj11 this is my company code select your company code double click on accounting principal here here double click on accounting principal ledgers and company code click on your new entry what is your accounting principal everyone what is your accounting principal jj something we created na jj ip ya yeah? ip 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 enter and save we have one more company code we have one more company code and double click on company code again select here jj12 double click on accounting principal 
click on your new entry here uh, this is the accounting principle jj ip so this is called ledger this is called company code this is called accounting principle click on here save and back everyone i am repeating once again i can repeat once again listen listen careful how to do this con mapping listen careful everyone Please concentrate here. I will repeat once again. One more ledger. I will repeat once again, my dear students. One more ledger. Concentrate here. Concentrate here. Listen careful. Maximum people going to confusing here this configuration, everyone. How to create extension ledger. How to create accounting principle. How to map accounting principle to ledgers. How to map ledgers, company code, with accounting ledge, I mean accounting principle. So maximum people will going to confuse here. So listen careful, everyone. Listen careful. Double click on define setting for ledger currency. So one more. I can select here J1 IFRS. How we can assign the zero L now? Now I am selecting J1. Listen, listen careful. Double click on company code. Select here company code double one. Double click on accounting principle. Click on here new entry. So what is accounting principle for IFRS? JJ FS FP, uh, this one, right? IFRS. Press enter and save. Press enter and save. And again, click on your company code. Select one more company code. Double click on accounting principle, click on your new entry. And uh, what is that? Uh, JJ FP, right? FP. Press enter and save. So, what happened, everyone? For example, if you post any accounting entry and this company code, if you post any accounting entry in this company code, the value should be reflected J1 for IFRS. J2 for US GAAP, 0L for IAS, Indian Accounting Standards, report, reporting level. That is the reason we are going to map this. And one more, one more, I'm repeating once again. I'm repeating once again. Listen careful, my dear students. I'm repeating, listen careful. Listen careful, everyone, listen. Listen careful, I'm repeating once again. Listen, listen careful. Double click on uh, define setting for and click on here uh, select here J2. Double click on company code settings. Select here JJ11 and uh, select here accounting principle. Then click on your new entry. Okay. Here uh, you can give uh, what is that? Uh, J, sorry. JJ, what is that? U, UP, right? UP. Everyone, JJ, UP. Press enter. Then save, save. Then save, everyone. Save. Then one more, one more, everyone. One more. Click on your company code. Select your JJ12. Click on your accounting principle new entry and what is that uh, jj up press enter and save press enter and save clear clear so far any any doubts questions please everyone did you note this configuration steps, everyone, yesterday? Did you note this configuration steps? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Did you did you note this uh, accounting entry? How it will be reflected and all? Did you note this? Yes, yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. One second, everyone. Let's share the practice material. Let's say one second.
Did you received everyone? Yes, we received. Yes, we have. Yes. yes, sir. So my question is here. Uh, uh, did you receive up to date practice material? Uh, enterprise uh, up to date all the practice materials. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So anybody not received practice material, better contact to Lakshmi ma'am. What in case if you miss any practice material. So we shared all the practice material. Enterprise structure, global parameters, profit center configuration, document splitting configuration, now parallel accounting. The next topic is number range, document type and number range. So I'm strongly believe if I start this uh, uh, topic now, so maybe you are become a overload. So my suggestion is let us complete parallel accounting configuration today. And tomorrow we are going to discuss document type and number ranges. If I start now, now I am strongly believe it will become overload. Why? Because uh, parallel accounting, something is difficult. Configuration part and all. So parallel accounting, two classes, everyone. Yesterday, overview. Today, configuration. First, you can watch that. Then you can watch the recording session again. Then based on the practice material, let's do the practice. Okay. Any questions? Questions, please. No questions, sir. Okay, everyone. I'm I'm stop the class here now. We will meet tomorrow for new topic, document type and number ranges. Okay. Yes. No. At least say okay. yes. No. Okay, okay sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.